Hi, with the new unemployment rate data featuring prominently in the news, I decided to do a project on the analysis of unemployment rate of US. Every month, the Bureau of Labor Statistics publishes unemployment rates for every county in the United States. Recently, the unemployment rate has increased from 4.4% to 14.7% in April 2020, with 23.1 million people unemployed in the country at that time. For this project, I will be comparing the unemployment rates of six counties in Oregon and finding the relationship between these counties within the Oregon state and the national employment rates. Let's take a look at the data. Here we see that uh, for the national unemployment data, the data is available from 19, January of 1948 and it's available till April 2020 and uh, it has information of every month and it has the percentage of unemployment for every month and the worst if you see the graph here, the worst hit was uh, at in the December of uh, 82 with 10.8, the national unemployment rate. During the 2008 recession, it was less than the 1982 uh, rate, that is, it was 10. And uh, as of now, the unemployment rate is 14.7, which is quite high. Now, uh, just looking at the data, it's from uh, 48 to, to 2020 and the next we have is for the Oregon state and the data is available from January 76 to April 2020 and uh, for the Jackson County in Oregon the data is from 1990 and it's available till March 2020 and I'm guessing for all other states all other counties the unemployment rate data is again from 1990 to 2020 now uh, when we download this data it looks something like this for the national unemployment uh, the information starts from 48 as i said before and the rate in percentage is given so uh, the information that we have for all the other levels that is for the Oregon County uh, Oregon State and the six counties the information that we have is the date and the unemployment rate in percentage before we dive into the Python code let me first list down the six counties that we are using in this study we will be using Jackson County Josephine County Klamath County, Douglas County, Coos County, and Curry County. They are all neighborhood counties of Oregon. I selected this data because uh, I just randomly chose Oregon State and these six counties. For my study, I have used Tableau, Python, and MSS Excel to collect, analyze, and present the data and my findings. The Oregon State records have data from 1970 to 2020 and the country has from 1948 to 2020 and each county has data from january 1990 to 2020 so uh, for my analysis i have compared data only from january 1990 to march 2020 at all levels a preliminary look at the data files shows that each file has only two columns like i said before they are the date column with first day of each month and the unemployment rate column which has data and percentage. A simple exploratory data analysis suggests that there are no records missing from the files. So the only proce processing that needs to be done is selecting the range of data OVC analysis will be conducted. In our case that range will be from 1990 to March 2020. Next let's look at the Python code and see how we can analyze our data. First, we will be importing all our data and uh, when we check the shape of the data, what we see is uh, the national data has 868 records and only two columns. Oregon State has 531 records with two columns and all the counties have 
363 records and two columns. This is a sample of uh, the data in each of the files when we use the head function. Now, uh, because we have to do analysis of our data, what we need is uh, to use data that is available in all the records. So uh, the data is available from 1990 in all the records till today. So we will be using all the data only from 1990 and ignoring the data before that in the Oregon State and the national records. So uh, we will first be formatting the date field here um, for which we have used a two date time function and where we give the date where we give the format as year month and date so uh, the 1991 one it will recognize that this field is a date field and this is the year this is the month and this is the date part of the entire date now uh, what we have done here next is uh, we have only selected the records from 1990 in the national and the Oregon data frame. Next, we will be plotting a line graph for all the record for all the data frames that we have. And for each state, uh, for each line, we will be giving it a unique color so that uh, we can recognize it on the graph. And then the graph will also have a legend. So this is what the data looks like we see that the national average was always lower than the uh, average than the state average and the other thing that we notice is the six counties that we selected they usually always had their unemployment rate higher than the national average and the state average so uh, from this what we understand is Oregon State was not actually performing well uh, during uh, during the years 1990 to 2020 and uh, the unemployment rates were usually higher than the national average and the state average for visuals I have used Tableau and I have published a dashboard on Tableau Public. I have uh, the unemployment rate of US in general and then uh, a tab for national unemployment rate, Oregon un unemployment rate and then county wise and then a comparison between counties versus Oregon versus the nation. Let's get into the details. Python code we selected data from 1990 to March 2020. For my analysis here, I have further uh, simplified my selections and I have selected data 2007, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. So uh, we see that uh, in 2007, we had we definitely were seeing a rise in the unemployment but in 2009 it really reached its peak sometime in January and uh, so almost towards the end of uh, 2008 and early 2009 we had a peak of unemployment but as I said before the national average was always less than what it was for the Oregon state uh, if we see the national unemployment rate and uh, here is the heat map and only for those seven eight years only for those seven years we see that uh, 2009 had the highest unemployment rate and 2019 had the lowest unemployment rate and for the Oregon state uh, we have a similar result of 2009 being the highest and 2019 being the lowest for unemployment rates in county I couldn't plot the heat map so I did the line graph 
and uh, here we see that uh, Jackson County usually had a lower unemployment rate compared to the rest of the counties and uh, in 2009 Douglas County had an unemployment rate of 15.67 so uh, when we compare the uh, unemployment rates between the counties this Oregon state and the nation so again when I drew the line graph uh, the blue color shows the lowest and the green that would be the Douglas County is the highest if we squeeze the national uh, the comparison of all the counties and Oregon and the nation if we squeeze the graph and uh, we see that uh, even though uh, the unemployment rate was actually getting better towards the end of uh, February and March and it was between 3.5 and 4.5 which is a natural rate of unemployment and uh, during that time employers were actually having trouble finding enough workers to keep operating at full capacity and suddenly uh, in April of 2020 the unemployment rate has shot up to about 15 percent which is really high and this is all because of the current COVID-19 pandemic so now that the world is recovering experts say that the unemployment rates are going to reach as high as 30 percent in the next quarter our studies here show that the Oregon and the six counties usually have higher than average unemployment rates hopefully Oregon does not get hit even worse how worse could it be from 30% thank you I hope you enjoyed the video today